we don't know what it is. We cannot identify it. It looks like three silver discs far away. If you take one dime at arm length, that's about the size I can figure out. Uh, then certainly two vanish, and I mean vanish. Blue sky, I vanish. And one, the time to say one, two, three, make a long circle with crashing green, blue, red, everything on the back, towards us, pass between us and the mountain, like a, a lightning, and went zigzag and disappeared. When he passed, I had a green light in my cockpit, a matter of a, a fraction of a second. And I remember, I can see something hard to say, 15, maybe 20, 25 feet diameter, like a disc went under us and disappeared. But the next things, and, and a little tinkling around me, you know, okay, we were tired. And then the thing I see, I look, all my instruments, they were all going crazy. My uh, sparrow, uh, Sperry uh, compass was going counterclockwise about that speed. All the other instrument was going this crazy. And I said, of course, I have the answer today. But I said, holy smoke, what's going on? And when, when that took place, my two wings went sky high, yelling, and the interphone, uh, what could, what's going on? Shit, went out the back and all that. I said, hey, back. And then I said, no radar, no nothing. Navigation, uh, 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 what can we do? Radio wasn't functioning anymore. Well, lucky when I think about it, our magneto was still going on. That's, a, that's still a, a, a mystery. Because what happened today, I know, high, high level of magnetic field. Okay, so fortunately above the mountain, I saw the base far away. Thanks God. So we all land, and you see three exciting guys were going down there. We arrive, and like normally, we had to do our reports. And on our report, we say everything like it happened. And that's why the CEO, when he began to read that, he looked at us, he picked up the phone, and he says, Doc, I got to send you three guys. They got mass hallucination. <laughs> They're very, very tired. Give them a, and we had to go. Uh, and oh, I, yeah, I was mad. I said, what, 20 minutes, blah, 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 blah. And I said, God, no, it's, it's, it's not possible. What's going on? I mean, is, is that a secret weapon, a new secret weapon of the German? The briefing and the intelligence in each briefing should tell us nothing of that kind. What is this? We can't fight that. If that's a secret weapon, uh, a weapon of the Germans, so we can't fight that. We lost the war. You know, going gloriously with our plane at 450 miles, you know. So finally, uh, I took the CEO to the hangar and I said, sir, you better tell us what's happening you must know more than we know what is happening. Look, look, look what happened inside of the plane. There was one hour after. The mechanics has to take all those instruments out on the three plane. And uh, he, he went crazy. He said, wow, all this smoke, I, I don't know. Well, if you don't know, you better, have better believe our story. We were grounded four days. The second day, we had some VIP coming early in the morning. We had to be put inside a room, question. Oh, Colonel plus his head and everything. Gentlemen, he says, you are not crazy. You are not having hallucination. You have seen the right things. Oh, my God, I said, I'm going to see something. We are going to know what's going on. Yeah, but meanwhile, the aide make us sign some paper, you know. You don't remember everything, you haven't seen nothing, military secret, and that's about it, otherwise the, the, the war is finished for you. Wow. 1945. And that was the end of it. <laughs>